Meekness is not weakness. It is strength of character. It is strength of choice and will and determination. And it is being willing to allow someone to have their way with you, if you will. And we confuse that with strength or, you know, the ability to be strong physically, but we don't understand how meekness can be a strength in and of itself. If we don't change our perception of meek people, that is why we're left with suicide, abuse, and people who just feel hatred towards themselves because they don't understand that they're being attacked because they seem weak, yet they were strong because they were willing to choose and forge their own paths. I'm Latia, and I have dealt with feeling like I am weird and an outsider, yet I've also had the strength of character at times to be like, no, you're not going to define me. You're not going to determine how high I can fly. You are not going to be the reason why I stop honoring my truth and my whole self because of your limited views or your desire to feel like you're powerful when you're not. So in the BDSM space, there is this concept of submiss submission. There's usually a dominant person and a submissive person. And this morning I've done some research on it and to be submissive is ready to conform to the authority or will of others. That is a def dictionary definition where we see that, you know, just because you're submitting, it has, it literally just means you conform to the will of another. So there is someone's will and you conform to it. So if you are religious and you have a doctrine that you follow, you're submitting to the will of the doctrine, the God, the leader, whoever it is that you let be in charge of your life, you are choosing to submit and honor that. So submission is more falling to the flow and in line with things. It does not mean that you are weak. It does not mean anything about your emotional state. It just means like you're allowing someone else to take charge, which sometimes we think we need force to have people be in charge or follow our will, which is where we have people who impose on others, where they are, you know, to impose is to force something unwelcome or unfamiliar to be accepted and or put in place or take to take advantage of someone by demanding their attention or commitment so when you are imposing it is in a state that we see as powerful and strong these could be leaders but i would say these are more like the dictators and the people who are forcing others to follow their will if you are imposing your will on another it could possibly be like neutral or like agreed upon and like at you know at choice where there is an agreement that i will submit to your will and there's an understanding instead of it just being someone coming in and you know shoving something down your throat so i was inspired because there are people who think that they are so strong like i am so strong you can't hurt me. Nothing you do gets you do gets to me. I am just unbothered. I am stoic. I am just, mm, you can never harm me. And the thing about people like that to me is that I feel like we think that, um, I feel like it's about relationships and love. That is where I guess this idea has distilled from, where I feel like the person who is like putting their heart out there constantly and like people are smacking at it and they're pushing it away and they're hurting them. It's like those people who are willing to get out there and love and try to love and find love and like continue finding the person who's really their fit. And I do have an association with women in this sense because I feel like women are always trying to find someone to love, to connect with, to nurture, to partner with. We're always like, oh, I just wanna be loved and I wanna be seen and connected. And I feel like from the stories that I've heard, they typically involve men, but men are usually the ones who was like that one time that one woman got in and broke your heart, you shut down. You're just like, nope, mm -mm. no one's getting in. I'm an a-hole, I don't care, like screw feelings, I'm not about that life. And so there's, to me, you're broken. You were open and loving and fun and enjoying it and now you're broken. And that to me is where there's weakness because um, they're like, it's like there's the, the trees. It's like, 
are you like there's a storm and you're broken it's just like this you're like this and like it's not it's gone you're dead like you have to start fresh or are you one of those that bends and you like you're flexible you're waving you're like engaged still you haven't given up the fight and that is where true strength comes from because you keep fighting you keep pushing you keep going out there and i believe those are like qual the qualities that make the meat strong so if we're going to change the way we see this perception, then we have to realize that weakness is a character trait, that meekness is strength, and that to oppose, impose your will, you can have permission. It can be a conversation involved in this. So for weak, I looked up definition this morning, it's great. And um, it is displaying or characterized by a lack of enthusiasm, and to me, I interpret that as like being cool nowadays. And it's liable to break or give way under pressure, easily damaged. It's also lacking the force of character to hold one's own decisions, beliefs, or principles, also known as ir irresolute. So this is where your character comes into play in question, where you cannot choose for yourself and you're kind of waffling back and forth. And it's not bad, it's just, your character is low, your ability to choose and own your choices is just low. And you can practice and you can like, you know, strengthen your character because it's not who you are. It's just, it's like a behavior or a trend. It's just like, okay, if I'm not strong in my choices, like how can I get stronger? So it's a line of, line of inquiry and a line of values and character, not of like, you know, it's not an inherent trait, this, this type of weakness. Whereas we see like small frail people as weak and that's not always the case. Now, if we see meekness as strength, which meek can be defined as quiet, gentle, and easily imposed on, also submissive. And it comes from courteous or indulgent, which I love the definitions of because courteous is having manners fit for a royal court from its origin. There's like other definitions, but that one felt truly potent to me and powerful because we see courtesy like common courtesy is lacking nowadays that's one thing so now that it used to mean having manners fit for a royal court is very telling because we're living in a day and age where we have gone from honoring one another as king and queens or you know these different social tiers which i'm blurring but now we're basically just jerks <laughs> it's a lot of jerks walking around like we don't need each other and don't care and we're just very there's a lack of common courtesy and a lack of caring for other people and just sharing like there's space for everyone we can be patient sometimes um also so i've already gone over submissive and how it's ready to conform and to indulge or being indulgent is to allow oneself the, to enjoy the pleasure of become involved in an, an activity, typically one that is undesirable or disapproved of. So if you indulge, you're doing something that is usually not approved of. Like you're doing something that people will have opinions on and they will not be happy. And I love that. One, it brings pleasure into the conversation. And I've done Mama Gina School of Womanly Arts and read her books. And I love that she has a pleasure-centered mission. And I also feel like there's more to the conversation than women finding their pleasure, power, and voice. Just because like it's such a dynamic world, we can't focus on one side of it. I also love that it's what's undesirable or un disapproved of. I love Rihanna and I love the evolution that she has gone through as an artist because she, Rihanna is life goals in one person. I love that she went from this good girl image, very pop, SOS, someone help me, to like, I'm a good girl gone bad. Because once she stated, I am bad, it was like, now I can be my true self and do what I wanna do without feeling like I'm judged or not meeting your standard or expectation. So she was able to transform her persona, how she showed up and what she was doing. And it's highly likely that's who she was the whole time. The music industry makes it to where sometimes people can't be who they are. And I feel like she's done it in such a genius way where, you know, she can be sassy and sexy and whatever she wants to be. And people are just like, that's Rihanna. 
Like that's her authentic truth and it resonates. And I believe that we all wanna go through this authentic blossoming, if you will, where we stop being overly courteous and overly indulgent to others having their way and where we start defining ourselves and sticking up for what we believe in. So if we can have the strength of character to know what our values are and then realize that meek and being on the fringe is not a weakness but a strength. And then there's also this third layer where to impose your will, you do not have to be a jerk and you do not have to do it from an unconscious place. But we can consciously choose to create relationships and containers where that imposing of your will is accepted and okay instead of becoming someone who is irresponsible and immature and beating people up because they do not have the ability to understand their own self, mind, body, emotions, reactions, thoughts. Like what is it that's causing me to have this unacceptable behavior? So meekness is not weakness. It says in the Bible that the meek shall inherit the earth. And I don't believe the meek are the people who are out there bullying, being mean, or that kind of thing. The meek are those people who are living their life and their truth, even when it's uncomfortable and no one else approves. That is what, what true strength is, the courage to keep fighting and opening your heart, even when it feels bruised and like no one will see who you really are. I salute you. And I hope that we have more people step up into the meek, character-driven lifestyle 